Good morning, family. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to jump on here and talk to you about, you see the title, O oh, Taste and See, because I've been in Psalms 34, and each verse has jumped out at me and given me something to ponder. So I just wanted to share that with you um, today. And um, the verse is Psalms 34, 8, O oh, Taste and See that the Lord is good. You know, you hear people say, God is good all the time, and God is good. You know, it's just a cliche among um, people today. But when I think about David and when he wrote this psalm, he was in trouble. He had a lot of trouble going on in his life. And he could write this from a place of confidence that he had made, he knew that God was good. In spite of his troubles, God was there for him. And um, when I think about us saying it, have we tasted to see what is taste to you? You know, you think about tasting something, it's just to sample something or to test something or to experience it. Well, if I were cooking, and you see this all the time in the movies. And if I was cooking and I had a pot of spaghetti, I wanted you to taste it to see if it needed anything else. Was it ready just right? And you would come and take a little spoon and you would test it. You would sample it. You would experience it. You would say, yes, it's ready or it needs a little more of something. So that's what we're talking about in this verse, sampling, uh, testing, and experiencing God's word, okay? Because Jeremiah told us, uh, I think it was in Jeremiah 15, 16, he said, thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. So test, take his promises, and put them to the test. Okay, he says to prove him. His promises are like a check that you take to the bank. You have faith that if I give you a check, that you can go get the money for the check, right? That's the way it is with God's promises. We can experience him um, putting our lives in his hands in situations. Here's an experience. I just wanted to share this too. The pastor who wrote the book that I want you to get, um, The New Human Race, you know, that was the reason why this ministry was started, because I wanted you to understand this new life. And his daughter, about 12 years old, came to him and said, I don't believe in God. Now, all of her little 12 years, she had grown up in a home that was Christian, that believed in God. But she had not experienced or tasted or sampled God for herself. She was just going along with the program. And she had the nerve to say, and I say nerve because she knew that she could do that with her parents. She could be open with her parents. That she could say to them, I don't believe in God, so I'm not doing this. What could they say? You can't force that on someone. They have to experience God. They have to taste for themselves, even though... They wanted that experience for her. They could not make that experience for her. And then one day, sometime later, she had an experience that God made himself real to her. And she came running to her parents. I believe, I believe, I believe in God. Oh, my. She sampled, tested, and experienced God for herself. And that's what I want for you all. I want you to taste and see that God is good. Sample his word, test his word, and experience him for yourself. Taste and see that the Lord is good. This is just a little moment of meditation. I hope this blessed you. Go back over the whole psalm. It's very, very uh, encouraging psalm. I've been reading it. All week, every verse means something new to me. I get something new out of it. So anyway, until the next time, shalom. And may the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Shalom. Uh -huh.